Hello everyone, this is Scott Bradley from the website www.scottbradley.name and in this Evernote Scott video I'm going to show you how you can use Evernote to organize specific juicing recipes that you can make with your Nutribullet, with your Vitamix, with your Blendtec blender, or any other type of blender that you like to use to create green drinks, green drinks with fruit, or whatever you may well please. Um, if you're not familiar with Evernote, one of the things I highly recommend that you do is to go to my other video, it's going to pop up on the screen, um, to go watch the 11 features video which shows you how to use all of the features of Evernote that's going to help you create this video, create this system for yourself within Evernote. Um, so as far as the juicing recipes are concerned, let's get started. Um, after you review that previous video of the 11 features, what you can do is come back to this video and follow through and create the system for yourself. But you want to make sure that you first have an Evernote account by going to evernote.com, sign up, and then you can come watch this video and create this system for yourself. The best thing about Evernote is that it is available on all platforms with your iPad, with your cell phone, on the computer. So this is going to be really helpful for you. And at the end of this video, you're going to see how by using Evernote to organize all of your juicing recipes um, as you go about your daily life and you make different things depending on different scenarios for yourself, you're going to really enjoy this. So let's get started. After you create your account, the very first thing you're going to want to do is to come into your Evernote and create a notebook. And I'm going to call this notebook Favorite Juicing Recipes. So I'm going to come up here and click the little arrow down here and it says New Notebook. And entitle it Favorite Juicing Recipes. Save. So, as you see here, the notebook's going to show up on the left-hand side. Now, the next thing I would, I'm going to want to do um, to organize future recipes that I input into this notebook um, is a tagging structure. And the tagging structure that I'm going to create for you is going to help you find recipes in the future as you continually keep adding into this notebook itself. So, the tags I highly recommend that you create are fruit or no, juice, sorry. And if at the beginning of every tag, I'm going to put the word juice so I know that it's referenced to all of the tags within the favorite juicing recipes notebook over here. So the first one I'm going to do is juice ingredient. Ingredient, let's just say uh, carrots. Carrot. Save. Another one up tag I'm going to make is going to be um, juice ingredient. Let's see here. Ingredient. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, apple. Save. And let's just do another ingredient. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is to come in here and create all of the ingredients that you like using in your juicing recipes. And the reason this is going to help you is because as you create all of these things, you'll be able to find recipes based on what ingredients that you want to use in the recipe that you want to save. So let's just put in a vegetable there. Let's put cucumbers. Cucumber. Save. So that's the first step, is to put in all the tags that you like. Oh, and I just realized that I missed did that. So we're going to go um, rename this one, and it's going to go juice ingredient cucumber save okay so what you're gonna to want to do the first step is to put in all the ingredients that you like to use in your Nutribullet recipes or your Vitamix recipes or your Blendtec recipes so that's the first step second step is to then create tags based on the meal so we have breakfast lunch dinner and occasionally a snack so I would also create the new tag juice um, breakfast save tag new tag juice lunch save new tag juice dinner save new tag juice snack 
save. So as you can see here, the tags are building up over here that you'll be able to use to find future recipes that you input into this notebook. Now, the last type of tag that we're going to create here is going to be on the focus of the recipe. Um, so typically, um, whether you have, typically this is for people who like the Nutribullet recipes or um, anybody that makes specific recipes with a Vitamix that are targeted to one specific area in their body, whether it's, you know, circulation, um, arthritis management, um, uh, fibromyalgia management, etc., etc., etc. Certain vegetables help certain things in the body. So I would I'm also create a tagging structure in for this notebook and start it with juice and let's just say uh, let's see a hormone balancer so we're just going to put hormones hormone balance save because we know there's going to be multiple different recipes with a hormone balance angle um, I would also probably create juice um, arthritis I hope I spelled that right <laughs> save, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So as new recipes come in targeted to specific areas of your body, you're going to want to also create tags for that. So now, now that you have your notebook, favorite juicing recipes, and you've structured all of your tags, the next thing you can do is, um, you know, once you have that structure in place, it's now time to start adding the recipes and um, you know, start tagging them appropriately so they're easily findable in the future. And um, just want to point out this resource to you to show you where you can find recipes. Um, if you go to facebook.com slash Nutribullet Recipes, this is a Facebook page that I manage myself, and it goes over specific recipes for Nutribullet or Vitamix or any other type of blender that you could like. And, um, you know, one of the main reasons I'm creating this video is because I posted this on July 25th asking if you want me to show you how to organize recipes. So that's the reason for this video. So when you come to this page, you're going to see specific recipes um, that are going to help you. And you can use this page as a reference as you create new recipes for yourself. So um, with that being said, the best way that I can uh, recommend that you use this notebook is that in the future, as you get new recipes, and whether they come from the Nutribullet recipes page or any other book that you have, etc., 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 when you're ready to add a recipe to this notebook, the very first thing you want to do is come in here, make sure you select the notebook, and type and click New Note. And when the note's going to pop up, what it's going to give you is an untitled field up here, and then it's going to be a blank space. Now, let's just, for instance, call this recipe number one and if you want um, you know you can add a title here another way that you can add recipes in here um, from a titling perspective you can just you know the super green awesome recipe you know depending on how your brain works and what would help you remember specific recipes a specific way because you can imagine if you're gonna have multiple different recipes in here, you're going to want to title them in a way where you can either scroll to find what you're looking for, or if you have hundreds and you don't want to scroll, when you come down here and actually click, you know, one great thing about Evernote is that, let's say that for this recipe, you tagged it up here, and it's up here, it says, you know, favorite juicing recipes tag. When you click that, you can type in here juice, and let's just say um, this recipe had apple in it. You can click Juice Apple again. And if you wanted to find this recipe in the future when you have hundreds here, you literally, the first step is to click this notebook over here and then click Apple. And it's only going to show all of the recipes with the ingredient Apple in them. Now, what's also cool is if um, you wanted to say, okay, I want a recipe with apples and carrots in it, you do the same thing, except you have to use the search box up here. So what you do is you come up here and you click that, and then you're going to also just type the word juice. Juice, and let's say carrot. And then you, so it's apple, carrot, in the notebook, favorite juicing recipes. You press search, 
Now obviously nothing's going to show up there, but if this previous recipe was tagged with um, both of them, they would all show up there. So as you can see, as you build out your recipes um, with the specific tags, you'll be able to say, okay, I want a recipe with apple, carrot, and cucumbers, and then you know what other you know ingredients that are added in it will be the extras. But you want, if you wanted to focus on core ingredients, this is why the tagging is so important. So, um, in short, when you create your recipe, let's just say, for instance, going back to the Nutribullet recipes page, um, just for all intents and purposes, what you can do is once you see a recipe that you like that you don't want to forget, what I would recommend that you do is to copy this recipe, and well, let's just copy the recipe itself, and as you can see here, all the recipes that are posted here are submitted by the community, so if you do want to come join this page, again, facebook.com slash recipes and go up and like the page. Um, what you can do here is just click recipe, um, well, create your recipe, title it whatever you want, um, and I would keep your titles consistent, so if you just did recipe one, recipe two, recipe three, or if you wanted to create names for all of them, it's really up to you. What I would do is just paste that in here. And then, um, as far as your tags are concerned, I would go through each grouping of tags. So I would first put all the ingredients in here, up, up in the tags. But again, you want to create them first by going over here and typing in new tag. The next thing I would do is to say, okay, was this something that I would probably want to eat for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, or all three? So I'll come up here and press juice, and let's just say this is a breakfast one. And from that point, um, let's also say here that um, if you wanted to add more tags, you just come up here and you go juice, and let's say um, this recipe from a, you know, the next grouping is what does this help with? If you know what it helps with, you know, you can put juice arthritis. So, you know, from the groupings of tags, you have the ingredients that are in the recipe. You have whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or a snack. That's grouping two. And then grouping three is what is the focus of the recipe and how can it help you. So, that is how I would set up your favorite juicing recipes within Evernote. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Now, before you go, I want to point out a few things that are going to add more value to you. Um, by watching this video and being a part of the Evernote Scott YouTube channel. The very first thing that I recommend that you do if you haven't already done so if you're watching this video on YouTube is to subscribe to this channel for future Evernote videos if you liked this video. You're going to find that subscribe button right here. The only reason that this isn't showing is because I'm logged into my account. And if you go back to the YouTube channel for Evernote Scott, this is going to show you multiple different videos that you can watch um, around you know, using Evernote to be more productive and effective in your life. The next thing that I want to show you is um, if you want to know when I publish the next video about Evernote um, and you want to get an email from me, what you want to do is go to scottbradley.name slash Evernote tips, sign up, confirm your subscription, and every new time that I publish a new video, you will be notified really exciting to share everything that I know about Evernote with you via these videos. So go and sign up there. I also want to let you know that I have an Evernote, um, a Twitter account, um, and, the, and the username in Twitter is Evernote Scott. So if you do want to go follow me there, go to twitter.com slash Evernote Scott. And every time there is a new video, I do publish it here as well. But I highly recommend um, to make sure that you get the information that you want and you need to go and sign up via the email service that I just showed you so that you can ensure that you don't ever miss a recipe or the tweets or any other posts you know you miss. I don't like it when people don't get the information they're asking for. So that was why I created that um, specific thing. Now another thing I want to point out to you is that I love helping people when it comes to using Evernote for other aspects of their life. And um, if you are interested in going back and forth with me and providing me information in regards to who you are, what you do, um, what you would like to use Evernote for, but you're just not sure how to set it up, um, what I would recommend that you do is to send me an email. My email is evernotescott at gmail.com. 
And if you are, you know, a teacher or if you are someone in business or if you do a specific profession and you want to use Evernote but you're just not sure, what I want you to do is to send in send me an email with the head with the subject line how would you dot 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 and tell me a little bit about who you are, what you do, what you would love to use Evernote for. And the thing is is that all these emails that I get inspire new content that I'm going to be publishing to the YouTube channel. So feel free to send me an email. I would be happy to go back and forth with you and use your um, you know, suggestions as future content in future videos. Now, the last thing I want to tell you to, about, and just briefly kind of as we close out this video, um, if you did like this video, again, please subscribe if you want future videos. If you, you know, found this video super valuable, please feel free to like it, which is just giving it a thumbs up below the video. Um, feel free to share it with friends that you think that are going to, you know, at, get value from this. If you know that they're juice nuts or they're organization people that love to stay organized and on point with everything, um, you know. And also, I want to ask you, you know, if you do have a YouTube account, please comment below and tell me if this was helpful or if you feel there could be a better way to do it. I mean, the best thing about Evernote is that it is truly a blank slate and there's multiple ways to set up a specific thing. So, you know, please in the comments below, feel free to share your mind. I like getting feedback. I like getting comments. I, under I understand that, you know, this is a conversation here, not just a one-way channel. And, um, you know, last thing is, you know, share with me, you know, what, if there's any other way that I can help you, please also just send me an email to that evernotescott at gmail.com. Um, I love getting the requests. I love hearing where people are from, what they do, and if there's any way that I can help them, that's the place that I'm coming from in all these videos on this channel. So, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really hope that you put Evernote to use to help you organize your juicing recipes, and I really hope that you're looking forward to the next video. So, I will be talking with you soon, and have a great rest of the day.